Hi, I'm Charlie Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and the Frederick Health Hospital. Today, we're going to do a countdown of the top three most viewed videos from 2023. I've included links to the videos in the comment section below. And the number three most popular video of 2023, uh, Stent Stripped Off Balloon. Now what? All right, take home messages. Um, a stent becoming stripped off a balloon is never pleasant. Uh, we went over a simplified approach for how to handle the situation. In brief, uh, if the stent is still on the wire, uh, deploy the stent. Uh, if it's not on the wire, crush the stent. If you can't deploy or crush the stent for any reason, see if you can leave it alone. If you cannot leave it alone, try to retrieve the stent. If that can't be done, uh, you need to call for surgical removal. And finally, uh, remember to listen to your staff and to your fellows. Uh, never be too proud. They often have good ideas. And number two, how to nail the ostium. All right, uh, take home messages. Uh, the floating wire technique is a quick and fairly easy way to systematically and reliably locate the ostium of a vessel. The ostium is often a lot farther back uh, than you think. Uh, there is a very low risk of a geographic miss of the ostium, and there is no guesstimating or extra contrast injection involved. Uh, the main drawback is the possibility of actually hanging too much stent out into the aorta. So uh, remember this tip, uh, when aligning the stent dot to the tip of the guide, it's very important to maintain forward pressure on the guide against the ostium uh, with the, fo uh, with the uh, floating wire in place. And the number one most popular video on 6 in the A from 2023, rough STEMI, then balloon malfunctioned. All right, uh, take home messages. Um, a, a balloon that doesn't deflate is a very rare and potentially catastrophic uh, complication. It's often due to a defective and sometimes kinked uh, balloon catheter shaft. So if you kink your balloon catheter shaft, just call for a new balloon. Um, but if you run into a situation uh, where uh, your balloon uh, fails to deflate, uh, just remember this approach. Step one, uh, try again with a new inflator and stopcock system. Step two, switch to saline in the inflator, uh, infuse the saline into the balloon to decrease the viscosity of the contrast in the balloon and try deflating again. Repeat this process several times. Step three, try rupturing the balloon by inflating it beyond burst pressure. Usually more than 30 atmospheres will be needed and obviously have a cover stent ready uh, just in case of vessel perforation. And finally, step four, uh, try to puncture the balloon uh, with a stiff wire or the back end of a coronary wire. Uh, remember to use a guy liner or an inflated over the wire balloon uh, to minimize the chance of wire perforation and have a cover stent ready. And finally, if uh, all else fails, uh, you may need uh, mechanical circulatory support and uh, emergency uh, surgical removal. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for supporting this channel, and here's to much health and happiness in the new year. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe.